this is a quick overview of the WRT1900 Linksys device. You can set up this device plugging a cable on the back of the router, port 1 to 4, that's the traditional way, or you can connect to the wireless and start the setup from there. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to talk about the device itself. This is the main screen, so you can see here all the settings of your device. So in my case, I'm going to talk about the parental control. This is the main reason why I got this device. So um, I set up a schedule for this, for this laptop. So uh, the internet is only available on Tuesday from 9 to 12, Wednesday 9 to 7, and all day Thursday and Friday. So if I want to block, let's say, Thursday morning, I'm gonna block from here, so the internet is gonna be available from 9 a.m. only. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go back. So I'm also blocking Facebook, YouTube, and Yahoo. So it's pretty easy to add any website. There is no way to uh, type keywords. You have to type the uh, the web page name. I'm trying to block a PS, PS4 device, so um, I'm having some problems to identify the device. In here, I'm assuming this device, or maybe this one, is the PS4. So there is no way to see the MAC address here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look on the network map, trying to identify the MAC address. So I know my PS4 is connected to the wireless, and I um, I also have some other device connected through the wire. So um, if you see here, it's a, this is a network device. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna try to find the device information. So this is the MAC address that I'm looking for, but this is for another device. This is this is not the PS4. So in this case, I know this is the one. This is the PS4. So these are some iPhones, an iPad, and this is let's see. Uh, this is an an iPod Touch. So. I'm gonna go back. Even with the MAC address, there is no way to, to identify the device. So in this case, what, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna block the internet always on this device. So then I will go to the PS4 and check if there is internet or not. If there is internet, so that means this is not the device. I, I don't like this feature on this device is pretty expensive so I, I would prefer to have the, the MAC address but there is no option here so, so I'm gonna set up another device this is an iPad I'm gonna block these sides and um, use this side for this device so then I'm gonna enable the Python control now it's enabled On the network map, there is a nice feature where you can see the uh, internet usage. So uh, right now, the the iPad is the one who is taking most of the bandwidth. And the second one is the uh, I'm assuming this is the PS4. So um, if you need to, you can run a speed test. So you can identify the performance that you are having right now. So my internet speed is, is not good right now. I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm gonna take a look on the external storage. I plug a USB flash drive. So let's see how it looks. I'm gonna back to the external storage. So the FTP is on. The, on the folder access I just add this user x user that is the same password full access so um, I'm gonna try to to access the folder so you just have to open the Internet Explorer FTP this is the uh, the address for the router let's see it's asking for the user and password it's user one nice now the uh, FTP is enabled. 
let's see. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, maybe it's a user problem. I'm gonna log in as the administrator. Yeah, it was a user problem, so and accessing the files on the USB drive. And it's working right, right now. So I click OK. So the external storage is set up already. Now I'm going to talk about parrotation. In this case, I set up a Skype with the highest priority and then my desktop computer. So you want to add another device. This is how the, the bandwidth is going to be prioritized. I click OK. Let's take a look now on the uh, security section. This is where you set up the port forwarding. In my case, I'm opening the port 80 and 9000 to my camera system. So I'm um, also opening remove desktop option for my desktop computer. It's pretty easy to add another port. In the guest network, I'm using only the 2.4 GHz network and I set up the password. I also set up the number of devices that can be connected to this network. I'm not using the 5 GHz network. I don't want to. On the wireless section, I'm using the 2.4 and the 5 GHz and I decide to use the same name and password. Now I'm gonna turn off the Python control. That's, that's something simple and easy. Um, as you can see the setup on the device is pretty easy. There is no complication on this device. There are some features that I don't like but overall it's a good device. So if you are considering a Python control device this could be an option for you.